Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get better weapons in Adventures very quickly. You know that in Adventures, you can't trade your weapons or drop them. It's not like you can have a very high level friend that's gone far in Adventures and he just gives you weapons he's found in higher levels. It doesn't work that way. You have to go out there and grind and get them yourself, which is also part of the fun part in Adventures. Everything is all on you and your effort, so you have to try your best. The ways I'm going to tell you to get the weapons is a process. Like you have to do all these and like it's just a process but it yields results very quickly. So make sure you listen to all of this. Now the first things I'm going to tell you to do is to loot safes. Loot safes and chests because they can give you weapons of different rarities, sometimes legendaries if you're lucky, epics, blues, greens. It depends on the level of the chest between 1 to 6 and your luck. Then safes also yield the same thing if they're legendary safes or normal safes. So it's all RNG there. Then after looting safes and chests, I say clear encampments. Encampments with the chest symbol. If you look at an encampment with your camera, it will show you a trap icon, a chest icon, maybe ores, bullets, you know, a, a metal, wood, brick. So if it shows the chest icon, that means it's gonna give you bunch, a bunch of random stuff, which could also be weapons. So that's another good way to get weapons. This applies to also anomalies and survivors. Basically, just do anything with the chest icon to get more weapons. Also, um, search boxes, search containers, because they can give you weapons too. Then after these, I say you should use your ores and your rotating gizmos or whatever it is and go to vending machines. Vending machines can give you um, let's say rare or epic weapons. I've not seen a legendary vending machine in Save the World yet. But the thing about vending machines is that they take your ore, although you're not using it, they take your ore, and from what I've um, noticed from getting epic weapons from vending machines, that is that the perks are not that much better from getting random weapons. So, what I say is that the weapons you get from looting chests, looting safes, looting Anomalies, survivors, encampments, boxes, containers, all of that, recycle them. Always recycle them. And when I say recycle them, recycle every single weapon you have, be it ranged or melee. Because, as I said, this um, method is a process. As you're recycling everything and getting lots and lots of materials and ores to get better weapons. Wait, one more thing before I continue. Let's say a vending machine says level 12, it's actually going to give you a level 30 weapon. So always get the weapons from the vending machine if it's something you like, be it rare or epic. As I was saying, um, I, since this is a process, I have a way to keep you going until you have enough ores and stuff to get all the weapons you want. That's basically by using a specific build and that build entails you using the team perk called Blackbeard Stash. This team perk and this build is like an all-in-one, a way to heal, a way to do damage and you know, it has everything. As you can see me using the peg leg, I'm hitting so, I'm hitting for so much against this level 23 husks. Doing 3000 or 7000 or 11000 damage and more is a big deal when you're, you know, in a level 23 zone and you're not even up to power level 15 yet. The peg leg in these very low level zones goes up to only level 75 and the coconuts heal you for a decent amount too. So you'll be able to survive and you'll be able to deal a lot of damage and take out mini bosses and stuff and earn more re rewards. This is an image of what my build looks like for the peg leg. In this build, I'm using three pirate heroes in my support squad so I can use a better melee hero for damage in my main commander spot. I'm using assassination, which is assassins there, but you can use another hero if you want. I use fleet for more movement speed and rapid charge just because rage because of raids, getting energy is annoying, so I'm using rapid charge to boost my energy. 
but as long as you guys have blackbird stash you can customize this build however you want and it will be effective for you but this is just the effective on the spawn movement build i could think of so as you're using this build you'll be able to take out mini bosses and everything and it will keep you going to it can keep you going virtually all game as long as you have good heroes but you know sometimes you need to complete quests of assault rifle or melee or stuff or stuff for venture xp so you might want to change it up or maybe you're just playing melee isn't your play style so you need to use this until you can gather enough ore resources like malachite silver ore um obsidian shadow shadow you know all those resources until you can gather enough and use the vending machine too. If let's say like there's a weapon you really like, like maybe the Baron and you see it's in the vending machine, even if it's level 12, it might have some movement speed perks which will help you boost your gameplay. So guys, that's how to do it. Remember to search level 5, level 6 chests because they could have legendary weapons. I'm yet to obtain a legendary weapon in uh, Ventures besides the peg leg. So I don't know how the perks on them look, I don't know if they're still bad even though they're legendary. Or maybe the perks or weapons will just really get a lot better when we get to higher level zones and ventures. I'm not sure yet, but as I find out more information, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Something I'd like to quickly note is that uh, if you spend most of your time in encampment missions, you'll be getting a bunch of resources, so you could do that as you're progressing. And if you don't want to do encampment missions, as you're getting many many resources from recycling all your weapons focus on your traps focus on your trap perks luckily in ventures we are allowed to use our traps so guys make use of your traps the traps like if you're good at trapping and you know the mechanics of uh using traps to eliminate corner and funnel husks you're not going to have a hard time playing ventures at all it's actually going to be very easy so guys invest time into learning how to use your traps while you're still using the blackbeard stash peg leg build so you know as you're getting stronger you have something that will carry you through the lower lower and middle stages of ventures you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one don't forget to uh leave comments if you have any questions or suggestions or you know just want to uh, give your opinion. Peace out.